And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category or theme for today is the Earth. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about the Earth. But, and this is a big but only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, Australia is the only place on Earth with every type of climate? Or is it B, the highest wind speed ever recorded was faster than the speed of sound? Or is it C, the lowest known temperature on Earth was negative 89.2 degrees Celsius? When you think you have the correct answer, raise your hand and your foot. Psst. Hey, Reg, cue the thinking music. Time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And calling in with the answer, it's Veronica from Michigan. Veronica, what's the winning wow? Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My wow in the world is that the lowest known temperature on Earth was negative 128 degrees, 0.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. Winner, winner, ice for dinner! Thank you, Veronica. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that the lowest known temperature on Earth was negative 89.2 degrees Celsius, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. In 1983, researchers at the Vostok Station in Antarctica recorded the temperature of negative 89.2 degrees Celsius, or negative 128.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This extremely cold temperature was the result of that day's calm air and lack of solar radiation and the station's high elevation. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and waddle like a penguin. <laughs> okay, round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the biggest magnet on Earth is Earth itself? Or is it B, the Earth's core gets a little hotter every year? Or is it C, the most common mineral on Earth is pyrite or fool's gold? When you think you have the correct answer, tell it to a rock. <laughs> hey, Reg! Uh, some thinking music, please. <laughs> and time is up. Joining us by phone, it's Theo from Washington. Theo from Washington, what's the winning wow? the world is that the biggest magnet on Earth is Earth. Winner, winner, magnets for dinner! 
That's right, Theo. Wowzers, if you guessed A, that the biggest magnet on Earth is Earth itself, well, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. The Earth's outer core is made of molten metals like iron and nickel, which are constantly moving. This creates an electric current, which in turn creates a magnetic field. But just because the Earth is the biggest magnet doesn't mean it's the strongest. The most powerful magnet on Earth is 45 Tesla, roughly 900,000 times more powerful than the Earth. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and attract something to yourself like a hug magnet. Oh. <laughs> OK, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the Earth's orbit is a perfect circle? Or is it B, the Earth's rotation is gradually speeding up? Or is it C, the Earth isn't flat, but it's not perfectly round either? Hey, Reg, thinking music, please. And time is up. And joining us by phone to reveal the winning answer, it's Leilani from Australia. Leilani, tell us the winning wow. Hi, my wow in the world is that the Earth is not flat, but not perfectly round either. Earth has never been perfectly round. Winner, winner, shakes for dinner! Thank you, Leilani. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that the Earth isn't flat, but it's not perfectly round either, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. The globe at your school or library might be perfectly round, but the actual Earth is not. Our planet shape is called an ellipsoid, and it's wider at the equator than it is at the poles. Also, the surface of the Earth is constantly changing. Mountains are formed, glaciers shift, and volcanoes erupt. Every geological change alters the shape of the Earth. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and erupt like a volcano. <laughs> Ah, what was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. You let a mountain lion loose in the studio again? No, it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, what should I name this mountain lion? What? I thought you said you didn't let a mountain lion loose. She's not loose, Guy Raz, she's on a leash. Here, pat her on the head. Ugh. Well, she was on a leash. They really don't make leashes like they used to. <clears throat> Mindy, this is ridiculous. Name her ridiculous? I don't know, Guy Raz. It's kind of an odd name. I was thinking something more like Melissa or Mimi. <gasps> Mimi the mountain lion. Here, Mimi, Mimi. Here, Mimi. Come here. Come here, girl. Let's just get to today's prizes, please. Okay, Guy Raz, uh, today's winning wowzers will all receive their very own invisible multi-purpose clear liquid. Do I even want to know what that's for? Yes, of course you do, Guy Raz. You can drink it, take a bath in it, even run it through a sprinkler and jump through it. Uh, I think the word you're looking for is water? What are you, the word police? Uh, oh, well, well, uh, that's about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Wow the World. For this challenge, we want you to look at a picture of the Earth. It could be a map, a globe, a satellite image, or anything else you can find. What do you notice and what wows you? Let us know. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World, and again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on wowing. wowing.